Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. We have had... Calm. We have... It has well. been quite, quite the doozy. So, uh... Um... God, let's... I think, like, obviously, we're. I'm going to turn it over to Char and get started with the news. I'm joined with, obviously, my illustrious moderators, Chara and Nerlis, as well as the uh, 8,021st Digital Warrior, Digi. As well, well as the, the other eight thousand twenty, yeah. As well as the illustrious Red Storm twenty nine, aka Kamari, aka Mari. Hello. Do you like uh, calamari? Uh, hmm? I can't eat that, but How a lot did... of people call me that, so you can call me that if you like. Nice. So, uh, Chara, a uh, new segment is obviously yours. If wherever you want to start with, get started. What would you with, like to uh, start with first? Because I got bandless shit, I got leak shit. What would you like first? What kind of leaky I, shit would you want first? What kind of flavor uh, are you looking for today? What that, flavor uh, of shit would you given like? Given that the ban list is going to be a little bit more of a broad discussion, I'd say let's start with the leaks to, to just get started. All right, sure. So, just, first on the list, we got... For a bit. First, we got... We got our ban list. We got we I remember got some cute shit coming. Right. Oh yes, we got we got we got them succulent hands from there. Let's <laughs> yep, the, the skeleton <laughs> fingerless gloves. Ah, uh, he probably thinks he's fucking edgy. Anyways. I really don't. It's just iconic for my channel. Alright, Robbie. Yes, that's right. I just called you Robbie from Gravity Falls. Get memed. Oh Anyways, Damn, that's I crazy. Remember some, I remember when some punk ass kid on my bus back in high school called me Ben from The Walking Dead. That's wild. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what fuck. is? I'm sorry. The, is it this? <laughs> no, it's over here. Anyway, is this my camera? It might just be my camera. No. He, he called me first ben before I'm like three weeks straight, and then like I was like, "What? Why the fuck do you keep calling me Ben?" And then he showed me a picture of the character, and I'm like, "And here's the thing, I'm going to turn you into Uncle Ben from fucking Star Wars if you don't shut up." I know. But ah, damn. Shut up. Here's the last thing, and then I'm going to shut up. I was wear I would wear a denim winter coat every morning, mm -hmm. and I was wearing it when he showed me the picture with of Ben wearing the fucking denim coat. It was wow. Terrible. But continue, Char. The stage is yours. I apologize. All right. Now that he's been turned into Uncle Ben's skeleton from Star Wars, damn. We have, we have the unlimits. We got the Thunder Dragon Colossus going from one to three. Right. We got Water Enchantress from two to three, which is nice. Adventure being full power. It's kind of cute. Yeah. It, I mean, it does nothing, though. Adventure is kind of like meh at this point. It's it's fun. It's of actually not. It's actually not. I mean, when 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 the next where it's good, it's a very good. Next oh, yeah, on the list, we have Change of Heart going to three. I will stop. Comedy hit. Anyways, uh, actually no, because this will have to do with later on. But because I'm just gonna bring it back up, bring it up now. Going second mm -hmm. is going to be Meta and Change of Heart. Oh, yeah. Very that's good going release. second. Card. Yeah, that's good. Point. Exactly. I'll get into that later. So kneecaps will be in mind the next time you hop up. Erratic, we have yeah. we have the EV coming back to three because everyone stopped playing it, but it's gonna come back now since you know labs never die. Labs never die. So eradicator epidemic virus back to three from from one, and then one for Evan because he always needs his token on man. Uh, we have chaos space coming to three. Yippee! Kneecaps are mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too worried about okay. chaos space. If I'm being honest, like I did a whole, you know, earlier today before before we were recording, um, I did a whole like band list, like opinions, reaction, riff thing, and I'm not particularly worried about chaos space. Like a lot of the end board things, especially things like Dragon Link, were playing. Like you know, Borlode Savage getting the getting the nail was like big. You know, I'm not particularly worried about it. <laughs> Next time it's your toenails. Now, all right. Next we have for the semi limits. Fire King High Avatar Kieran has been set from three to two. Hmm. Makes sense. Fire so we have a sick. bunch of consistency hits. Mm -hmm. One of them, but we also have some buffs. Considering Gold Sarcophagus went from one to two in Master Duel. Branded support. 
branded support. Hmm. I'll allow that because you're a branded simp. Anyways, Yippee. next we have Phantom of Ubel. That got put to two, which a lot of decks are winning two or three, so it's not really that big of a hit, but it's still a consistency hit. Mm -hmm. More consistency hits is the starters for uh, Ubel, considering yes. both Dark Beckoning Beast and Opening of the Spirit Gates also went from three to two. So, Nerolus will tell you it doesn't really matter. I'll say it's still a consistency hit because you now you have one less card that you can run for starters. That's They took away two starters from Ubel. That means that a star, you're 30% 30, you're 30 less likely to see a starter in your opening hand now. Yep. I mean, that next, is true. Next, we have the limited list. Poplar went from three to one. Bless. Bless. Is it going to stop Snake Eyes? Not really. As, as long no. as you, if you can't Ash or Emperor the Poplar, then you're kind of fucked. Next, we're getting to the controversial shit because the entire part of the Master Duel server got locked down because of this. Yes, yeah, stun was not Fossil Dyna pa pa Fossil Dyna Packy has been set from three to one. My Thank beloved Lamau, fuck stun. Now I'm going to be honest. Sorry. I was there when the ban list dropped and saw the reaction of the stun players, and I've never seen a channel get locked down so fast for six hours. That's wild. They went nuts. Yeah, and now we have go. the forbidden list. Okay, Evan, I will rip off a oh. toenail each time you fucking interrupt. Okay. <laughs> next we have next. I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know why. I honestly feel bad for them. Primeval Planet, Planet Perlerino got just banned. Don't yeah, know why. That, that was wild. I feel bad for the I feel bad for the tier Monadian players because now they, the Monadian players don't even have a one card combo anymore. Yeah. No, that, you just did Rectophobia or any um, of the other Vsauce spells. Uh, actually, no, because Perlerino tied into a lot of the tied into the best end because it involved Rukulos. But yeah, now they can't like, really get to uh, that as easily because Perlerino got banned. Perlerino just seems like. Like, the team was already met Let's... at this point. Like, it seems unnecessary. Sorry, like, Tyr has been comfortably rogue this entire time since they gotten hit. Next, yeah, that just, we have that I just also another like... one I didn't see coming at all. Ibli got banned. That makes it's sense. His... That makes sense. They banned the lock. Well, what, wait, I, wait. Can so, I, like, can I say my code here, talker deck, okay. it's fucking cooked. Can I say something here? Or sure, if you sacrifice three of your toenails, I'll sacrifice four mm -hmm. of them. I will. I'll. I'll say this right. Um, I think that that makes a lot of sense. Like the the theme in because I know there's some other stuff here. The theme with this uh, ban list is really kind of removing cards that make the play of game less fun to a degree you can see that in the dyna hit you can see that in another hit you haven't talked about yet you can see that in um this hit and i think that as someone oh, who well i'm trying to bring HK up with this right you know it in had that lock it's ugh, yeah it's not it's not it's, i had that lock I, on speed I, dial that's funny oh yeah no 100 percent. me too. it was a it, honestly it's a lock that has a counterplay though Right. Pa Packy didn't really have counterplay. The next one also doesn't no. have real that much counterplay. Ibli has the easiest counterplay because you can just run Lingaribo and you're good. And that's R. Correct. Right. Right. All right. But anywho, I just don't like Ibli's never been meta. No. Ever. No. But the decks that can it's run true. it, like it's it's pretty easy to cheese out. Uh, it, it's not really because Ibli isn't the, the only one that could search Ibli. With sprites. But if you're searching Ibli with your sprite, that means you've exhausted all your other options first. There's always yeah. a better option than Ibli. That's true. That's why I said the decks that can run it. You know, it's a pretty powerful tool. Like, if you drew into it, oh, hey, nice. It's, it's, it's neat to have. Neat. Next, our last hit, which I believe is fully because of fucking voiceless voice, <laughs> Jogan the Spiritualist. Yeah. Hmm. That was the Honestly, uh, yeah. You're branded package right. that caused that, right? Oh, it's still voiceless voice because they could run it super easily. So, well, voiceless voice is able to, you know, the reason why it's so good is because it's such a, you know, it's an engine. Because you can end play. on two effect monsters, which gives you fucking Verte. Verte gives you Brain Fusion, which gives you Sanctifier on field, which will lead directly to Jogan. Yeah. 
and you can just lock the field down until you get whatever the fuck you need to like play the damn game. And no, uh, you don't even need to lock the field down. It just stops your opponent from taking their turn too, essentially. Yeah, pretty well, much because sure. not just that, Jogan is also protected from battle because it's a light monster, a oh light spellcaster at that. Oh, you're right. Oh, no. Are we beginning to see the sauce about why the shit got banned? Ooh, I should have been playing that in my voiceless voice deck. Fuck, man. You have a week. You have a week. I might, hey, fuck. No, I've opened the combo, huh? You have a week to abuse it. Hey, man, I could probably get my shit into, I could probably get into fucking Master, like, I could probably get into fucking King of Games in that time, like, fucking watch me. Legend. Anyways. Our That's it for the list. It. That's it for the list. Now, something I want to talk about, which was going to lead to our le next leak. So, one of the things that also got leaked that I never mentioned because I just wanted it to be a surprise, we got Ritual Beast support coming too. Yippee! Mm. And Thanks Ritual Beast really like Thunder Dragon Colossus because they Why can get that? into it the easiest. Can they? Yes. They banish oh. a lot of shit. Yeah, not not just that. They also very easily get into the pyro band. I should, I'm going to share my screen for this next section because it's easier to explain that way. Go for it. Because I, I actually had, have no idea how any deck, aside from obviously Thunder Dragon, get into Colossus without uh, Nemesis Corridor. So uh, do explain the sauce here, Mr. Char. Give me one second. It is, in fact, using Nemesis Corridor, but it's a lot easier to get to. Mm -hmm. So, first... Because Ritual Beasts very easily get two level fours on the field, right? So they go into right. Infernal Flame Ban Banshee. Yeah. Uh -huh. Infernal Flame Banshee. Search is. What's any pyro? Not yeah. much. But the one that we're flag. talking about is Flag. I forgot it's a pyro. Yep, Flag is actually special summon it. And during the message, you can add one Nemesis monster from your deck to your hand. You know who Flag adds? They add Gordor. Mm. Or Protoss if you want to be really cringe. Oh, wow. Yeah, but for the purposes of this, we're going we're going for Colossus. So Makes Nemesis sense. adds core. So Flag adds Corridor. Corridor does its bullshit, and you know what? Corridor immediately leads to Corridor leads to Colossus. Right. So so greatest of just as a byproduct of ritual, just as a byproduct of ritual beast shenanigans, you have Colossus super easy. That's crazy. Because I, I, I'm somebody who played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! during Toss format in the TCG, so like I have a particular disdain for Colossus, even though I was running, you know, full-powered Shadals at the time, and Super Poly makes quick work of Colossus. True. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But now we have three Colossus, so it doesn't fucking matter. Anyways. Yeah, it doesn't. So, now, now back to the discussion about change of heart. So, like I said, Gorn second decks are going to be mad because we have Tempai coming into play now. Mm. Oh boy, Brandon Pears, break out your super polys. Oh boy. And that's the fun fact. Change your heart One is one of, if not one of the best going second cards. Yeah. Because, hey, no. mine. And it's not even once per turn either. No, no it's not. If you, if you open two change of hearts and your opponent has two monsters on the field, congratulations, you can make a <laughs> two. Congratulations, this game sucks. Amen. <laughs> These poor two element players. I feel I still feel bad. Yeah. Also, like, fun fact. Listen. You know how you say okay, no, near list. I want to just bring this up. So you know how you said, oh, they have right phobia. It's fine. It's not searchable with trivia karma. Is it not? Because I know Trivikarma no. adds a Vsauce spell trap. Does Rykphobia nope. not mention Vsauce? Because I, I might be tweaking. What's what's the line with Trivikarma? So Trivikarma, you add Pillarino because it mentions Visa Starfrost. So... Yeah. That's great oh soft. God, I, I, I said uh, Rykphobia, yeah. the Scareclaw field spell. From it. That one does. Mm. Yes, it does. But you already activate Rekphobia first. Oh, that's true. Rekphobia is activated before the... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, so I fair... see why I might be a little stupid now. So, and, so Manadium got a nerf and probably, like... Manadium got hit hard. 
here's my thing, right? It's like they just got no. Now, Konami got done fucking with flu, so they decided to fucking horse whip the fuck out of Tealament and Manadium for no reason. Yep, they're they're like two years behind the shit that they need to be hitting. It's almost like the the meta shit is always constantly hitting like hard as hell, and then hmm. then you then we get to like you know. Uh, two years after something was like a tier one meta threat, they hit it into the ground. So like, it's it's almost like they like they 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 know what they need to ban. They just choose not to because they're selling cardboard, which is probably exactly what's going on. Hmm. It's a certain degree of it's, uh, it is it is what it is. But you know, I'm excited for Tempai. I do like playing the strategy somewhat. You know. The moment so, that Sangan summoning gets not here the... at all, it's done. Yeah, it'll still be fine. Anyways, so this was funny. You know what's funny? It's is that funny, Chara? You would think so. Each pack has its big three banner cards. Mm -hmm. We only have two because Ritual Beast is not the third one. So far, we only what's have Goblins one? and Tempai. Tempai, the other one being like a potential game warping threat. No, no, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying we still have one more big archetype that could possibly be that can that, that's going to be leaked. You bring Rizeal one time. So what here's the thing: this leak, the, the guy I watched the leaks from, usually saves like the biggest thing for last. And my bet, because it because how Tempai got leaked now instead of as last, Fiend Smith. my bet is Fiend Smith. Yeah. I was yeah. kind of hoping for the Shining Sark stuff, but yeah, it's most likely going to be Fiendsmith. Also, it also might be Shining Shark, because he might just be fucking baiting us. Who knows? Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, so, who knows? Only Konami. This is the, the, and him, actually. He already knows. He just hasn't told us yet. Regardless, That's true. Everybody, hmm? regardless, everybody, start saving your uh, gems. Unless they somehow make this deck oh, equally yeah. budget uh, here in Master Duel as it is in a TCG and OCG. Yeah, right. So we, it would we'll, we'll be really funny. Uh, we're gonna get no, 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 she Drago. Okay. I am pretty excited for this, no lie. Just because I can't wait to turn off the brain and uh, kill back. So we're getting everything with the Tempies, by the way. We're oh, we're even getting Genroku. Nice. Yes, we're getting Genroku, we're getting Sang and Kaiho, which is funny because it's the turn skip card. In air quotes. <laughs> no, it actually is air skip. It... It, it forced them to go to battle phase. If you don't control the synchro turn, it's just, okay, go main two. Is the ferret hiding? Like, uh, no. no it's funny because during the main phase, you can control a fire, minimum one, and point cards are more than you get in the main phase. Yep. And then you can still synchro summon during their turn. But it's also, just yeah. during battle phase. Jesus. So we're getting everything from the ten pike cards out the gate. Yep. Everything. And everything. So that's why singing Kaiki is actually Kaiho is just good because you can just synchro summon in the like on a trident. Also I need to check something. Oh trident, my trident. Oh you are you are. Yo, nope, it's an R. Mm. No. Trident Drakeon yeah. is R rarity in this video game. Oh Hell God. yeah. Nice. Everybody is going to be playing this deck. Oh, we already know everything else is going to be expensive. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. It's going to be five URs. Oh, no, kidding. realistically, probably they're probably going to make probably the field four. spell, maybe the Synchro 10, Pydra, like, th those are going to be URs for no, sure. Everything else is going to be SRs. Yeah, this is also, I did not expensive. know Dora Dora was a fucking Tempai card. Dora Dora! He's a little dude! I love him. He's so oh, good. Yeah. He's just a little guy. He's a little dude. Aww. Doing little dude things. So Your opponent oh is choosing whether to go first or second. You are going first. Yeah, that's basically how it's going to yep. go. It's just, oh, I lost the coin toss. What do you mean <laughs> I'm going first? 
Mm. And then we have the top 10 Raider decks, Raiding decks. Tiara Men's strongest. Unfortunate, they got hit. Second place, Snake Eye Fire King. Third place, I mean, wait. Second place wasn't really least. Third place was Snake Eye Fire King. Fourth place, you bell. Hey, look at this. Three. Weird. Three uh, opening against Spirit Gates. Two deck minis, huh? And the fourth. This makes me happy. Sprite, you bell. This makes me happy. All right, that's actually kind of cool. I'll give them that. I might steal that list. Uh, I might steal that list. Ah, uh, robbery. Yeah, duh. We got the decker. eighth place. The guy that had two decks. We had two element and fire king. Cringe. And then ninth place, we got Nikki Boy with. Honestly, I was not I'm surprised the racist he made it up here. <laughs> the sinful racist. Made it up here twice. Oh boy. So yeah. I actually wanted to show. Look, I like very much. I did want to show off what happened in the Metal, the Metal Weekly that that got second place because Joe and bullshit. Second place. This deck is unique. 60 cards. I see. 60 cards. Oh. Yarament, Snake Eye. You bell. With the small you bell package or... featuring that grass looks greener. And the end boards I saw it make were fucking crazy. Like, I love this deck. Watching this deck. That is off. beyond me. Insane. Hmm. That then the number four we had. Called for. Then we had fucking Beast Your Runic. Gross. Because, of course. Now, honestly, it's not a bad deck. I'm okay with Beast Your Runic because it's a synchro deck, actually. It's not a stun huh. deck. It's actual. It's a good deck. You know, yeah. I I played this deck for a little bit. It's actually it's actually kind of kind of solid. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I I don't a have good a problem deck. with the ru. I don't have a problem with the ruinic. I just have a because... issue of pushing it's done. Yeah, ruinic. Yeah, yeah. Racist. Ruinic is a, is a solid art engine. All right, and then we had the racists, which yeah, honestly now they get to have. Yep. Which honestly they get to have heavy storm and harpy's feather duster. So go off, king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Snake Eye Fire King, Snake Gross. Eye Fire King, King. Snake Eye. Yeah, Manadium. Manadium. I, I still feel bad for them. That that was like, an two Rectobia, three Calorium, one Pilarino. Like they 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 got done dirty. Yeah, they did. Oh boy. Ah, Larbrimph. On top eight. Cringe, Sin. cringe, 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 cringe. Whiff. I'm Absolutely. just kidding. Man. That's not like they use their fucking fusions. Got super heavy samurai, uh, centurion, which was kind of neat. That's pretty walk. base. I kind of like that. That that's actually interesting. I like. I dig that. You bell, you bell them in. Of course. He's running. He's running us up off the trap. Of course, he didn't make it far. No, he just got unlucky. I'm pretty sure he went up against fucking the guy that won. Yeah, that, I mean, that'll... I don't that'll get do you. No, that's Centurion deck. Centurion, Centurion Bestial. Mm -hmm. Dies. Huh? And then we had the Warrior Hodgepodge, which also was fun to watch. Ah, the Warrior Pile. I didn't realize think... Phoenix Gearblade was added, so that means fucking Infernal has their, one of the best fucking cards that they have. Yep, Mark... Mark my words, the moment that another warrior deck becomes meta, they're going to ban fucking Ice Old and Master Duel. Yep. Pacifist Rat brought back Ubi Control. Hmm. With Sky Strikers. That, that nice. is... That's kind that's of... That's a deck I haven't in a while. Even, they also use Super Poly. Yeah, that's that's pretty times. based. I like that. You guys like a fucking Floodgate deck. Y'all disgust me. Hey, 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 Help, good at like it's it's ancient gears has all the consistency tools they need to like be super chewy and repeatable. Very true. 
You know what's funny? The guy that won just ran into some point that Brandon Voice's voice was good. He doesn't expect Jogan to fucking kick that much ass. Yeah, man. I bet. I bet. So, moving on. Uh, was there any uh, interesting duels you guys had this week? I... Uh, also, a fun fact, the guy that lost was shitting bricks against Ancient Gear. That's crazy. The guy that I won bet. was shitting bricks against the Ancient Gear deck. Yeah. Um, I had a pretty interesting duel this week with actually I might actually have it saved. If you I think I also it. have my interesting duel uh saved. I just want to make sure. Like to watch. Also, so while you guys are collecting your your videos, what have you guys uh what have you guys been running lately or learning? Um I, for I'm up with uh, That's I'm just waiting for Tempai. Yeah, but what have you been running lately though? I, I ran Libromancer Voiceless Voice for most of the Duelist Cup, and I've been running straight Voiceless Voice since that ended. Plant Pile! I don't know mm. plant, plant. I've been learning and running Plant Link. That's cool. Again? Yeah, especially since Magnum Acre came out, so that's even more solid. Yeah, I bet. But yeah, I've. Uh... Also, uh, also, I'm running a 60 card deck that's actually consistent. Get fucked, Brandon. Wild. <laughs> Yo, true. 60 card branded is doo doo. Uh, also, but yeah, personally, I've been a, I've been the a, weekly royal, I, uh, the, it's time for the weekly royal flex. My eyes! <laughs> Which bougie Jesus, ass. dude. Alright, so here, let me, uh, show you guys. Oh, so I got lucky, I crafted the royal con con when I was making this deck. Wow. No shit, really? Yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I recently finished a Kashtira deck, because I'm very done with any of the graveyard bullshit happening this format. Nailless. Graveyard bullshit ain't even good right now. Huh? Graveyard bullshit ain't even good. I'm aware. I think you just got some luck. Like it any less. Okay. Alright. Um, if I may share my screen. Chara? Go I don't know why the fuck you're asking. It's your server. <laughs> it's... I mean, he's right, you know. It's mainly to be polite, but... Go off, King. Alright, let's see the spouse. <laughs> so, right. premise. They opened... Born. With Dragon Shrine going first. Hey, wait a minute. I think I know this deck. Yeah. This is oh, the funny... <laughs> Nerlis, remember that funny Zark deck I hit you with? Is that what this is? Is, I is think this it that is, funny he, Zark deck? I think he... Because he Dragon Shrine sent Supreme King. Yeah, that that's usually like the main opening line for, for any decent Zark deck. Cause yeah, but... That, that gets you to that's, the what I with, that's what I did with the fucking... What was it called? What was that? Fuck, what was that uh, archetype called that you ran with it? Uh, not Volmonica. Yeah, yeah, Sulfur, Sulfur Cord. That's it. Okay, my fucking Master Duel crashed, so I need to right, close sorry, and reopen back, it. Go back, Evan. I'm sorry. I just, the egg just popped up in my head. Also, god damn, you're starting Hamlet. So literally, fuck you. Yeah, hmm. and, yeah. Drawing two Garnets is rough. Not, okay. Honestly, it could be worse. Trias is okay in hand, so is, uh, voice, voice of the voice. So it's voice. It's just, he has to draw heat. That is true. Yeah, I need I need to draw like any opener. If I get a low, if I get a, a diviner, would be sublime here. But I mean, yeah, because you know. diviner is just one card combo. Yeah. So let's just play. unless you fuck they, it up like they, I usually do. They, activ they activate Supreme King D uh, Dark Worm. I impermit because I'm like I've got three monster negates in hand. I might as fucking well. That's actually a really good imperm. Yeah. Then they normal summon Devil Iris, which means that they had fuck on hand, and they go for Baguska and Pester. Yeah, no, you fuck, you, you, you fucked him by getting, getting Dark Lord. And that's Hot the starter, thing. baby. Yep, Barrier is, is some heat. I decide to imperm their uh, Baguska. Yeah, no, that's, that's proper. And I get ashed. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Well, you pace. know what they say, Chad. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. All right. So they, the Guska's standby phase effects. They go to attack phase. 
he, this was a mistake. He should <laughs> not have gone into it. To, he got greedy here. That's so no, because he, he needed that. Now he's trying to start again, and you fucking stopped yeah. it again. Yeah, because of effect failure. Yippee. And you, this, I know this. That's, that's, that's actually like, yeah, honestly, that's what you're supposed to do. You try that. But it's not a yeah. mistake. You try to use a starter. Yeah, he's not happy. It's not like he can look in your hand. Right. Mm -hmm. So I draw and I get the trap, but I'm like, eh, okay, fine. So he has a second fucking ash because fuck me. <laughs> so damn. So 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 bear. So I'm just like, fuck me, right? We can like, I'm here. I set I set radiance the trap, um, the one trap you want to play. I activate. I chain uh, radiance in sequence. He goes bow phase. Hit me. Hit me again. If he summoned any monster, you would have lost. Yeah. She goes, he goes, SP. Uh, SP little dude. Activates SP, I activate Radiance in Sequence. And use this. Because now that they've used SP, like, I bring out the low. He banishes the barrier. You know, activates that. I shotgun the Trace Hierarchia because I'm, a, I'm, I don't know, I'm not smart or whatever. Yeah, I was about to say, he did not need a shotgun Treyas. No, I didn't. I was. I In was, fact, you I just was, left low on graveyard because of that. I was itching. Yeah, so low have been fine. I grabbed blessing so I could because I figured I could grab all three. I activate blessing. I get back the um, uh, the barrier. Uh, SP and trace hierarchy are gone. I get back the barrier, play it, and I and I uh, I'm and at this point Ash I'm saying you. if I get ashed, I'm going to kill myself. Thankfully, they didn't. So okay. it's the Safira. And at this point, we're so in hard. game, in game, in game, in game, Evan, in game. Yeah, yeah, in game, in Minecraft, in Roblox. Yeah. At this point, we're cooking with gas. Hmm. I shovel shit back. I get a low out. I actually defect. It was a misplay on my part. Whatever. I just needed to get. Not nah, chain blocking. Activate. Optimal amount. I activate blessing. Oh, that was chain blocking. Place. That was actually good. That was a good. That was a good play. That wasn't bad because you well, chain no, blocked low. I didn't need to chain block. I didn't even need to activate low. Like that was the misplay. Like I didn't need to, because <laughs> it because now I only have one space on my thing or whatever, and so I activate oh, that. I get to... At this point, at this at point, end? I'm think. Yeah, you're running the bad ritual again. I I run it as a one off because I like it. Dang. And in this case, and it, in this just, particular case, just let him case, do his thing. In this particular case, it was helpful because it allowed it, you know. The hand loop! The hand loop of sending his fool's barrel to the graveyard was a great hit. Personally. I activate Maxi during the draw phase. They cross out Designator. I am completely okay with that course of action and I let it go through. Because I'm saving that negate for. I'm saving. Uh, not a negate, but I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Skullcrabat happens, Blessing. Yep, Blessing comes out. They activate SP Little Knight. Now I'm kind of like forced to do it on Guardian or whatever. Or was thought I was going to be able to do it on Guardian, so I had to go for Sephira. I thought I was protected from targeting and I was wrong. And I get a Sarvis. Um, there's a reason why I wanted to show you this. And you will see it here in a second. Uh, Low comes out. Skull Guardian comes out. Uh, they activate their uh, thing. I pop both of their back rows. No cards. No cards at all. There's no dark worm gets negated. And there's a scoop. Nice. Fun fact, it wasn't seems like bigger this... than voices voice gameplay. Yeah, so there was so there's another duel that I had that was very funny. And I'm not sure which one of these it was. But let me confirm. Well, whilst you are uh whilst you are looking, do you oh. mind if I uh show show my little funny moment? Actually, I think I'm about to that was the branded one, and then it must be this one. No, that was the fucking. Cause like Boy, there was something. Black player, how dare you? They're just children. 
there was a very, very funny interaction that I had against specifically a pendulum player. And it wasn't that one. It was another one. And I'm trying for the life of me to remember who it was. And the reason why it was funny was because I found out that, funnily enough, if you're playing, um, if Sarah, like, if you have Cerevis on field and your opponent pendulum summons, and they pendulum summon a lot, uh, <laughs> you Cerevis can... get rid of all of them. Yep. And that was exactly what happened, and I don't think I have the, the thing for that, and that makes me very sad, because it was very, very, very funny. Many tears so. will be shed. So, continue. Alright, so uh, I'm not going to showcase the whole duel, because uh, I was up against you, Bell, on Salam and Great, and they spent like the better part of five years comboing. Right. But uh, all you gotta know... They were doing some tomfoolery, and they played through. They, they chewed through all of my interrupts. They chewed through the board nuke. They chewed through the omni. They're currently playing under Maxi. Yeesh. So, um, you know, they uh, they chewed through the prom princess. I drew into Salaman Great Mirror, which was very funny. Um, you know, they're uh, they're 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 doing stuff. They're popping guys. They're doing things, and I'm just like, damn. If I don't draw into Nib, I'm pretty cooked here. You know, they uh they they do the unchained stuff, they reborn some dudes, do some guys, some stuff, you really are summons the everything dude. except what you need. Yep. I I I drew both Terratop and Takatomborg, which super sucks. He links using my guy into access code, and I'm just like at this point, I'm just mega fucked. And I'm just like, damn, oh, Halloween, I'm fucking cooked. He goes to attack with a Ubel monster, and then I remember, oh wait, Salaman Great Sanctuary has two effects. It's all it obviously can relink, but I can also target a link monster I control and make its attack zero. Which in this format saves me from exactly dying to a Ubel OTK. So I make him zero, I take no damage from the Nightmare Pain, I take 53 from the access code, and I'm just like, wait, I'm fucking alive. And then, as you can imagine, I just proceed to increase his fucking Jordans. I, you know, I, I have Feather Duster, I have Cosmic. Yep, like, you, you know, I, I, I've got Called By, I've got Droplet, I've got the whole nine, I just, I just crease. Oh yeah, this is... And, you know, I, 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 I really am just a hop, skip, and a jump away from lethal. Like, I, I have Zelantis in my extra. You, you, you all know what's happening here. Yeah, it, 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 it's a, cathart a, a very cathartic Salomon Great win. Yep, it, it, I, I just thought it was very funny, that Sanctuary specifically. Like, the funny ha-ha garnet of the deck it, it has, is what has, saved has, me. Sometimes you people forget that there are second effects. Yep. I also gave him back SP for the BM with Pyro Phoenix for the burn effect. Uh, and then, you know, I kill him. You know that they were heated. Absolutely. They're, They're like, Maxi Challenge. Bad. I'm going to get Salamon Great. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, that was a... Oh, that's my camera. Wrong button. That's better. But yeah, that was a uh, that was my funny haha -ha duel moment. That was that was very very good. Thank you for sharing. Um, moving on. Uh, any uh, hot takes slash underrated cards you guys want to share today this evening? Utopia double. Fuck off. You're All right. <laughs> <laughs> What? You guys don't like getting punched by a 10k attack guy? No. Oh man, it's my favorite thing to do. Shut up, you play <laughs> Cyber Dragons. You, in theory, you... <laughs> Cyber Dragon player, derogatory. <laughs> I actually saw a, a wild clip on the internet of somebody who um, staged a duel with his friend and basically had... 
so basically they were able to do it in such a way where they were able to fusion summon uh one of the cyber the chimera tech monsters using, over dragon probably over dragon or something using all cards in both decks yeah probably over yeah, dragon the game right something like yeah. that i don't know i mean it was a obviously stage duel but like just kind of to see what would happen it was crazy Oh yeah. Feeling tired? Yeah, it's it's uh it's been a long day. Uh but on that note it's probably a good time for Digi to do his segment. Oh yeah. I'll give you guys an update I got on, on content, after man. after we're off mic. Alrighty. Alright, I got a cup I got a couple that fucking Ah I botched my sentence. Alright. On with the other camera. All right. Sorry, I'm a little uh, underdressed. I'm in my PJs at the moment. Y'all see the cards? Valid. Stay comfy. They're a little All clipped right. off. I think I, I think I'd go a bit lower. All right. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Like right here. Yeah, like good? right there is perfect. All right, perfect. that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and start off. The highlight of the first pack from the retros. Let's see, you're, we got ooh another large. Cam is mad frozen. I got it. It's, I think it's okay. Is it, uh, is it working got, now? He got he got the vanilla genie. Legend. Yeah, I got the vanilla genie. Another Lajin. This is like the second one I got onto the pile with you. That's like the second best goat format normal summon. All right. And now we are moving on to the highlight of pack number two. Come on. Ugh. We've got a trap card by the name of Embodiment of Apophis. Oh, trap monster. Apophis. Hey, Apophis. Apophis. Okay. That, that goes hard. Apophis with, nuts. Uh... That goes hard with an Od Odin deck in Duel Links. Yeah, Odeon, Odeon. Trap Burn. I remember that old so, strategy. Playing Duel All Links right. like it's 2021 again. Yep. Uh, Odeon used yeah. to have a skill in Duel Links where every time you activated any trap card, it would burn your opponent for 200. So you just play yeah. a bunch of stall traps and trap monsters and just crease your opponent. And then yeah. they did the cringe thing of making of saying that once your opponent reached something like a thousand, it didn't work anymore, which was lame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now on to the highlight of pack number three: Swords of Revealing Light. Yo. Still multi playable in some strategies. Surprisingly, I, still, I got what this is like my third Swords of Revealing Light I've got, because, like, from my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh deck, I had that card, and the Legendary decks, too, I got that card again, and now I have it a third time. Great. And now you have it again again. Yeah. Like, I could literally take all three of them, if, if it's not limited in any capacity, and just, not like... Not Okay. It is fully unlimited, because Konami went, this card is dog shit in modern day. Good thought. Wow. All right. Oh, and God damn it! Hold on a second. One of the cards fell. Digi masterfully be hiding his face from the camera. Masterfully executed. All righty then. And now on to the final highlight. And uh, ooh. Would you look at that? What did you score? The blue eyes, white dress. Yo, money card. Is that a money card? I I think it's money card. It's a fucking blue eyes, white dragon. So. And it's an right, and let it's me an let old, me and, and, and it's an old alt art too. All right, let me let me let it's me uh, check my source okay. real quick. Uh, blue eyes. Now granted, white now granted, dragon. it's not as it's not as valuable as like the OG run of blue eyes, white dragon, which I used to have one of those, and man, I wish I still had it. But all right, uh, don't know what to it. All right. Uh, with oh that, yeah, yeah. No, that's like twelve card. bucks. Yeah, it's a twelve the collection card, of cards. Nice. Grows 
greater and greater by the day. The fact that you wrap them around with rubber bands hurts me. Well, what what am I supposed to do? Definitely I gotta not, keep them all together. Not do bottle. that. Alright, I need so, to hop out, though. Alright, catch you, Chara. Right, uh, you catch you. It was great seeing you guys. See you, Chara. Yeah. Later, Chara. Any, anywho, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining us for tonight's roundtable. We appreciate you, your time, and your listenership. We will see you mm -hmm. to, uh, next Wednesday again here and the high media tv studio fuck off nearless um, i special and... <laughs> summon d's nuts <laughs> and in uh, attack I... mode or defense mode in attack good sir and, all right uh, i will uh keep you guys posted on uh any updates and stuff like that uh via shorts or blue sky go use blue sky it's better than twitter in every conceivable fucking yep. way and uh thank y'all for watching go follow digi on twitch at tdw underscore 80 21 go follow nearless on youtube at nearless at youtube.com slash at nearless underscore and go follow kamari on twitch at twitch.tv slash red s7 orm 29 links to everybody including chara's channel can be found down below Thank you so much for watching, and mm -hmm. I'm going to send y'all to pre-recorded Evan now. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.